Hello everyone, Captain Meathead here, and I know what you're thinking. Why is it a top why is it in a top ten list, not a top five? Well, there were too many villains to really add as a favorite, so you know, I just had to put it as a top ten list. So, without further ado, here's the first villain. The number tenth villain is Chompy Mage. Yeah, indeed, Chompy Mage. I mean, I don't really play as him in Trap Team. That's why he's at the number 10 spot. But I just love his character, you know? He's hilarious. He summons Chompies. He just <laughs> slams his staff at enemies. And it does a lot of damage. And you can be his giant Chompy form. Sure. Slow, but accurate. But accurate, you know? He's powerful. I should probably play as him more if I like him this much. So yeah, I, I, I just like his... I just really like his, you know, his personality. And I really like the ending in G Skylander's Giants where they're breaking the fourth wall in the credits. <laughs> it was really funny. Anyway, on to the number ninth spot, which is none other than... Broccoli Guy. Broccoli Guy, roll! Indeed you do, man. Hey, Brock's ready to rock. Yeah, haha. <laughs> Broccoli Guy is a very useful character. And I mean, he's like one of the best. Not in offense, but in support. It's just the ones that heal you that end up doing everything for you, that end up working out. He he get not only does he spawn food, but you also heal in the thing. And this is really useful for nightmare mode, you know? Like, you're at low health, you have no food around, and you don't want him to die? Get your fellow Broccoli guy! He'll heal you right up! At that one spot where no enemies are around. Oh yeah, really useful. I love him. Really helped me out a lot. On to the next one. Which is... Brave Clobber. Yep. Look at that damage. Boom! Grave Clobber, tough. I love it. Sure. Sure, he's slow. He's dark. Wait. Wait. When you break it, it does that much? When you break the thing on the enemy? I did not know that. That just makes me like him even more. Yeah, powerful. A great unit to have on your team. Really great with offense, I'll tell ya. Especially now that I figured this out. He can do like tons of damage when you hit the bones close to an enemy. And he just walks like a zombie and it's it's really it's really funny and really intimidating for the enemies, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. On to the number seventh spot, which is Gulper can fly! Yeah, why Gulper? He's... Look, I liked him at the very start of Trap Team already. Just from the way he looked. He loves soda. He gets bigger from soda. What goofier of a villain could you ever want? Besides all the other villains in the Trap Team. I just love Gulper, you know? Not to mention, he... He eats people. <laughs> he makes enemies flying with his staff, and sure, it doesn't show right here, but I promise you, he... Sometimes when he touches an enemy, he'll make them fly up in the air. He's fast, too, so he can get around the place easy. And yeah, he's really cool. I like him. Me want food! 
He's just a really cool, you know? I like him. That's just it. He's a slug. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. On to the next one. Who is... Hoodsicle. Yep. Here comes the headband. Dude, I... I had to put him on here. He is way too cool. Not only is he fast, he can dash around the place. Every, ghosts are just everywhere. But he has a battle axe. I could do that. I could do it. Wow. Hey, Rusty. Hey, Rusty. <laughs> like, don't you just feel powerful when you play as him? <laughs> How can you not love Hood Sickle? Sure, he's, well, you know, emo or whatever, but he's useful, he's, but aren't the emos just really cool? You feel powerful with him. You're fast, and you do a lot of damage. Man, it's just really cool, okay? Yeah, I love him. I would go on a whole rant of what I what I love about Hoodsickle. But we don't have time for that. So anyway, on to the next one. Which is... Cruiser Cruiser. Yeah. I mean, just imagine. You're just a normal guy, or you're a scientist, whatever. You, you, you have this giant robot machine with boxing gloves, with spikes on the boxing gloves. You control the movements with your own movements. You can go as fast as you, you can punch as fast as you can without it being weak. And, yeah. I just imagine it's really fun to fight enemies that way. You have a giant robot and you punch the enemies like this with your robot. You're having fun, basically. And he explodes, too. And <laughs> that's really funny. He tries to patch it up. <laughs> yeah, Cruiser Cruiser, really cool. Especially when you imagine it. So, yeah. That's Bruiser Cruiser. On to the next one. And this is a really I love this guy. Chef Pepper Jack. Hot plate coming! Hot plate coming through! Well, he's a chef for one thing. He can spam pepper bombs everywhere. He's fast. Did, did I seriously glitch him out again? Okay, there we go. I'm, I'm glitched again. He's going, he's walking backwards. This game is so buggy. Anyway, pepper bombs. There we go. It can hit all around him. He's a, he dashes forward. He spits fire. What can you not love about this guy? I don't, I mostly love the pepper bombs. Not to mention the music is banging too. Jeez. Yeah, love him. Obviously, I loved him from day one, and I still love him now. And his quest is just really fun, by the way. I know I haven't been talking about the others and their quests and music, but you know what? This one just speaks to me, you know? I just love Chef Pepperjack, and that's... And that's it. Oh yeah, on to the next one. Who is an obvious choice? Chaos. Fuck 
Well, duh. <laughs> of course I love him. I mean, he's chaos. He's the main villain. He's stupid. <laughs> How could you not love a stupid villain? But not only is he just a, just a funny villain, He's a very powerful one at that. He was not kidding for how powerful he is. You can change up his... These elemental powers to get water and... And oh my gosh, that one just does a lot of damage. Undead is amazing. He gives you food once it hits or whatever. The air, eh, it's not that great. But fire, I love fire. Yeah, that... Earth, <laughs> that's pretty cool. And this one just heals you, heals Chaos right back up so you can redo him. Who doesn't love a villain who can recharge himself just by using an attack? And not only that, but in case you're in a very dangerous situation, like you're not close enough or something, just shoot your Doom Sharks. Swim! Just shoot out your Doom Sharks. They don't do that much damage, but they are useful. And... Ain't that just cool? You get to play as Chaos's head. You're shooting out... Let me get back to that. You're shooting lasers. You gosh dang... Look at that! He's... Just... Ain't nothing scarier than having to fight a giant head who he shoots lasers and is sat using his voice or whatever to attack enemies. Plus he does a flip and I think that's really, really funny. <laughs> and really cool. But yeah. Not to mention, he also helped me beat Chaos, the final boss of this game without switching to another Skylander, because that's one of the quests you have to do in order to 100% the game. And this is just on Nightmare Mode. It's really hard to 100% the final level in this game. And Chaos really helped me with that. I love him. He's very useful. So yeah, if it wasn't obvious enough, he's my third favorite. So, on to the next one, which is none other than... A fan favorite himself. Wolfgang. Heavy rock. Oh! It's showtime. Okay, obviously everybody loves Wolfgang. Who doesn't love Wolfgang? If you don't like Wolfgang, then well, uh, I don't know how you're living your life. <laughs> well, everybody's opinion, you know, it's their opinion. Unless it's wrong, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but seriously, Wolfgang, he has such a long range. He can... 372 each hit, and if it crits, if, if it does a critical hit, then it's 500. Gosh dang, it's already good enough. <laughs> He's fast. But not only is he fast, but you also get a, a neat little jingle whenever you dash forward. So you're not just speeding through the level, you're also entertained while speeding through that level. Cool. Cool. <laughs> then he just says cool. Hawk smash. I know, right? I know, right, Wolfgang? Plus he just plays music and I music is kind of my thing, you know? I love music. And, you know, this. Good projectile, projectiles, whatever. <laughs> Catchy music. This is my favorite out of the three music that he plays. And then the last one. Dude, Wolfgang is just. He's got to be like the coolest Doom Raider of all time. Everybody else cannot match up to this guy, to this wolf. And he's gosh dang powerful. Like, come on. I just had to. I just had to enter this guy in. I love him. 
And you can't deny it, too. You can't deny it. You love them, too. You know. Just admit it. You love him. You love me. <laughs> Whatever. Um, okay, on to the number one spot, which is the best villain in all the entire game, besides Wolfgang and Chaos. Taekwon Crow. I do, Captain Meathead. I take it now! So, two reasons. Too much damage, projectile. Oh yeah, third reason, he's really fast about it too. 312 each hit, and if he crits, 468?! I thought he was already really cool whenever I first met him and really funny. Now that I get to play as him? I just love him even more! I mean, dude! He's so cool! He's sure he doesn't have a dash attack, but who cares? You don't need one! If you need to take out an enemy quick, just get to Taekwon Crow! If you have the dark set, at least. Just switch to Taekwon Crow, you know? And take him out quick with your katana chops! And with your shurikens. And his quest is really fun too, just making birds go away each time you hit them. Man, I'll always love this guy. Such childhood memories. Am I right? There's just. Trap Team has bring me a lot of memories. Especially with this guy. Trap Team will always have a big place in my heart. And I'll never give it up. <laughs> so, I guess I'm a man-child now. Oh well. Alright, at, at least I'm doing what I love. So, yeah, that's my top ten list of my favorite villains. I just had to do top ten. They're all really cool. Oh yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you enjoyed my opinions. And yeah, comment down below, what are your top favorite villains, you know? I would like to know, just because I'm curious. That's just it. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, guys. Uh, Captain Meathead, out.